Hello everyone and welcome to this Critical Updates webinar. My name is Tony Gray and I'm Chief Executive of TCCA, the global representative body for the critical communications sector. Today's webinar hosted by TCCA and presented by Etsy's Saraf Aurora focuses on the critical and highly successful Etsy MCX plug test series. We have registered attendees from more than 30 countries around the world, so we're looking forward to an informative and valuable experience for everyone. Please submit any questions you may have during the course of the webinar using the questions pane on the right hand side of your screen. If you're on a mobile phone, this will appear at the bottom of the screen. If there's time immediately after the presentation, Sarav will answer as many as possible and any that don't get addressed during the webinar will be responded to afterwards. TCCA is happy to have supported the Etsy MCX plug test series from the outset, and I'm now pleased to welcome your presenter to, for today, Sarav Aurora from Etsy. Sarav, the floor is yours. Thanks, Tony. First of all, I wish you a very happy birthday today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope everyone can hear me. Thank you all for tuning into this webinar for Mission Critical Services Plug Test. Let's start. So, ICSI is a European standard organization. We are recognized regional standard body dealing with telecommunication broadcasting and other electronic communication networks and services. We have a special role in Europe. This includes supporting European regulations and legislations through the creation of harmonized European standards. We initially founded to serve European needs, but we have a global perspective. 3GPP is one example. We offer open and inclusive environment to the development and testing of globally applicable standards for ICT systems and services across all sectors of industry and society. We are an independent not-for-profit organization in more than 900, with more than 900 members and from 65 countries and five continents. We have a 30-year track record of technical excellence in the ICT sector. We are officially, officially recognized by the European Union to support EU regulations and policies. Our standards are free of charge and available to all. Anyone can go to the ICSI website and download the standards available. We believe in the power of global and local partnerships. We have over 110 strategic partnership agreements with other fora and consortia, with international and regional standard developing organizations around the world. We have memorandum of understanding with TCC. We are driving the global standardization and 3GPP and 1M2M are the examples of that. In 3GPP, we provide technical specific telecommunication network technologies up to 5G. We have more than 680 members from the worldwide telecommunication STOs. In 1M2M, we provide a horizontal layer of functions to support applications and services for the Internet of Things. We have more than 200 players from worldwide telecommunication STOs in 1M2M. I belong from the HCCTI team, which is Center for Testing and Interoperability. We are the ones who are authorized to conduct the interoperability test events for HC for wide range of ICT implementations. We are organizing plug tests, hackathons, and hackfests to support the efficient validation and implementation of standards to help industry bring new products and services to market faster with greater confidence of success. We are running around 10 to 12 events per year on different technologies like NG112, eCall, NFE, and Mac. And MCX is also part of it. We believe that interoperability is important and lack of interoperability can be expensive. 
if discovered too late or by your customers results in potentially non interoperable standards and products. It gives a confidence that purchase equipment works with equipment from other vendors. It ensures open standard and enables multi vendor market. We believe that interoperability becomes even more important when it comes to public safety when the first responders need to use the equipment. We can no longer afford to get it wrong. Standardization enables interoperability and interoperability is the red thread running through the entire HC standardization process. Interoperability is addressed from the beginning, not something bolted in or at the end, it must be built in. And we take interoperability very seriously. There is no magic wand, but we take a pragmatic approach. We write high quality standards. We ensure that the standards specify the right thing. And it also ensures that the product implements standards correctly. One of the big reasons is nice to plug this event, which are also called as interoperability event, is to provide feedback into standards making, enhancing the quality of final standards. They also help vendors to enable interoperability of products, which is crucial to the successful deployment of new technologies. They are an excellent opportunity to assess and demonstrate end-to-end -end interoperability to validate the base specification and to promote the technology in a neutral environment. These events are open to any company or organization implementing the standard. We do not test any proprietary solutions. We ask everyone to follow the standards. The MCX plug test event are organized by HC and they are supported by TCCA. TCCA plays an important role in representing the mission critical community. They are co-funded by European Commission and EFTA. And we have a new supporter UIC as we are going to extend our MCX plug test to include railway oriented features. There is a big motivation for the vendors to attend these events because they are providing the opportunity for implementers to validate their understanding of the 3GPP standards, to test with the other real implementations, and they can debug their prototype implementations. These events also contribute to the standards validation effort. Plug test results are used to improve 3GPP specification. We are keeping track of any issues seen during this event, and we are giving the feedback to the relevant technical committees or the ISGs. In this case, we are providing feedback to 3GPP Working Group SA6 and CT1. And we are currently checking with them with some of the issues which we have seen in the plug test event. It also supports vendors, operators, and users to promote the technology and the ecosystem One of the outputs from this event is an interoperability test specification. We have a test specification 103564, which can be downloaded from the HC website. This is the specification for the scenarios of interoperability for mission critical services. This, this test specification is developed as part of the plug test event. HC CTI works with relevant stakeholders to define the test scope. Technical experts from the industry are developing these detailed test scenarios. Test specification is also reviewed by the participant and shared with the relevant stakeholders or the technical bodies and ISGs. The test specification is formally approved by the TBs and ISGs. In this case, it's HCTCCE, which is approving the MCX uh, plug test, test scenarios. We have around 141 test scenarios for mission critical services in this test specification. This is published as part of a HC deliverable after getting approval from the relevant technical body. 
The test specification is around now 300 pages containing 141 scenarios. We also produce a test report from this plug test event, which is compiled by the HC and it is reviewed by the participant and it's shared with the industry and TBs and ISGs. The plug test report contains the participants and the implementations, the test infrastructure used and logistics, the lessons learned during the integration and pre-testing. The test results are kept confidential, but we share the statistics, the aggregated data, the results remains anonymous. We also provide feedback on the base specifications on the test plan and any issues seen during the interop event. All this feedback is provided to the relevant technical body. And in MCX plug test event, we provide this feedback to the 3GPP working group SA6 and CT1. And as well as we also include the conclusions and the recommendations from this event. You can go to the, this link and download the test reports. You can find three test reports this link which is from MCPTT1, MCPTT2, MCX3, and MCX4. We have launched a new program, which is called the MCX Plug Test Program. That means we are committed to run series of interop events for the MCX community. The names of the vendors which are part of this Plug Test Program, which are attending the Plug Test event, and we also have the list of observers, which provide very valuable in inputs to the test scope, to the participants in the plug test event. So how a MCX plug test event looks like. So you can see in the first picture, this was the first event MCPTT1. So at that time, the plug test used to call as MCPTT1 because we have only MCPTT standards. This was uh, conducted at European XC headquarters in Sofia Antipolis. The second event took place in Texas in the disaster city hosted by Texas A&M University. And you can see the picture of the beach. So this is the picture which we use to attract more vendors to the event. And if you are developing a product and you're not sure if you want to attend this event, please look at this picture. These are the pictures of the intensive test session, which takes place during the whole week. So the planning for this face-to-face -face event even starts on Sunday. So we are setting up the whole infrastructure for the IT and we ask all the companies to come in the afternoon to set up their equipment so that on Monday morning, we can start testing at 8 a.m. The fourth MCX plug test event took place in Kuopio. It was in partnership with Arilis Vercot and the support of TCCA and the European Commission. The event took place from 23rd to 27th September at the Savonia University of Applied Science in Kuopio, Finland. We had around 117 participants. We executed more than 200 plus test sessions. 1800 test cases with 95% success rate. When we started the first MCPTT plug test event in 2017, the success rate was 85%. The features tested during this plug test event included MCPTT, MC video, MC data, floor control, affiliation, mission critical, beer handling, multicast, and server to server communication. All these features were based on 3GPP release 14. In total, 141 mission critical communication test scenarios are part of HC test pack 103564. This test pack is also based on 3GPP release 14. We also organized an observer program in parallel with the MCX plug test event, which gave opportunity to the government organizations to present their PPDR program for their countries. The observer program was organized by TCCA and Arilis Vercot during the MCX, MCX fourth plug test event.
So these are these were the participants. We had around 100 participants on site for MCX plug test event, which took place in Coopio in 2019. As you can see in the planning, if we are having an event in September, we start the registration process in April. Then we give time to the vendors to make a remote connection. So this phase is called VPN integration. Then we had a very long time for the remote testing, also called as pre-testing. And then there was one week of intense, intensive testing in at face-to-face -face event. This is the list of vendors who were participating in the event. So this list does not come completely from the program list because the program list, there are some of the vendors who did not participate in the fourth event. So when you sign a MC, MCX plug test program, it's up to you. As we are running series of events, it's up to you which event you would like to participate in. So there are some vendors who did not participate in the fourth event. And there were some vendors who were not present on site. They were connecting via remote. We also had quite many numbers of observers. So during this event, the observers were working very closely with the vendors. Even we gave a task to the observers to write some test scenarios, uh, which they think can be interesting for the interop event. And these test scenarios are part of the test spec 103564. So now we are planning to organize the fifth plug test event. The plan was to organize this as a face-to-face -face event in India hosted by Samsung. But due to the current circumstances, we had to postpone the face-to-face -face event and we have moved the fifth plug test event as a remote only event, which will take place from 21st of September to 2nd of October. This event will be only over the top testing via VPN connection for the vendor's lab using the remote facility. So the test scope is quite reduced because we will we cannot test the equipment with the LTE. This was our plan in the face-to-face -face event to test end-to-end -end interoperability with the LTE infrastructure, but we cannot do that do, uh, in the remote event. We are also planning to extend this event to initially test railway-oriented features in 3GPP release 15. So this is something new which we want to do. So we are planning to add some dedicated test scenarios for the for testing the railway features in 3GPP. The online observer program will be organized to provide the platform to various stakeholders in mission critical communi community to discuss the progress of broadband and mission critical services deployment. So TCCA and Aralis Workcode, they are already discussing to organize this program during the plug test event. It will be an online observer program. So this is the planning for the event. So as you know that the registrations are already open. The last day to register is 19th of June. Then we, we are going to have two weeks of VPN integration. That means all the vendors need to connect to a remote lab. It's an IT infrastructure provided by HC. After that, you will have two weeks of pre-testing where you can run some basic test cases to see the connectivity is fine. And then we are going to have two weeks of remote event, which will be quite intensive as we have quite huge number of uh, participants in this event. The HC IT infrastructure, which we use for the remote event is called as HC Hive, Hub for Interoperability and Validation at HC. It allows securely connect interconnecting remote sites to HC. It provides a neutral and coordinated framework for a collaborative testing and validation activities among different organization. It supports remote participation to the plug tests. We have already used this infrastructure for the third MCX event. That event was a remote only event. We are using already this infrastructure for the pre-testing phases of uh, previous plug test event. 
So most of the vendors are already aware of this infrastructure. Regarding the test scope for the fifth plug test event, we are planning to upgrade our test specification 103.564 to 3GPP release 15. There will be new test scenarios added for MCPTT, MC video, MC data, and railway oriented features. So the most of the test cases which will be added will be from MC video. So we have already uh, found the test cases which are required to be added for release 15. There will be three test streams in the plug test event. There will be mission critical over the top testing. Then there will be FRMCS over the top testing. And then we also want to invite the test tool vendors if they have any product to offer for conformance testing or any other testing related to audio quality. So the HC Hive infrastructure, which we are going to use for the plug test event, for the remote plug test event, is a facility offered by HC to let MCX plug test program participants to connect with each other for interop testing activities. We want to accelerate the mission critical services adoption and interoperability. Therefore, we are running a innovative program which provide access to remote lab. The remote lab will interconnect participants lab for multi-party -part interrupt testing. This remote lab will stay there. So this time we are not going to remove the remote lab. This remote lab will be accessible to any program participants throughout the year. So this facility is going to stay even once the plug test is going to be over. This facility will be there and Still currently at this stage, there are already 12 participants which are using this remote lab facility. Here, we do not provide any link of the test sessions. We do not ask you to report the test results. What this facility is about is a facility to let you develop new features and to, to test interoperability with your partners so you can contact them directly and you can use the HC Hive infrastructure to test interop. How to participate? So we are going to have an open conference call on 19th May, 2 p.m. CST. The link for the go-to meeting is here. So you can attend this conf call and where we are going to discuss the test scope in more detailed test scenarios will be presented in this call. You can go to this link to register to the event. You can go to HC website and you can already register. The deadline is 19 June. You can sign the ND and rules of engagement and become part of the MCX plug test program. The important thing is that for every participant, it's mandatory to sign the ND and rules of engagement. But if you are already part of the MCX plug test program, you, do, you are not required to sign the ND and rules of engagement. So every company needs to sign this once. Then we will ask you to register your equipment. Once you register your equipment, you can make a VPN request and you can already start using the remote lab. You can follow MCX plug test related news on the social media with the hashtag MCX plug test. You can use the Slack channel. Once you have registered, you can use the Slack channel MCX plug test to communicate with participants and to agree on the testing sessions and test slots. So this is it from my side. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, Sarah, for that very interesting and informative presentation. And I hope you found today's event useful and enjoyable. So please let us have your feedback afterwards. But for now, it's goodbye from us and stay safe and well. Thank you all very much indeed.